Chacha Wabara. Thank you for doing this with me. Let's jump right into it. Today we'll be reviewing again um, Alchemy of Souls. Now this is the full review. Um, the last time I came, that was last week, I, I, I talked about episode one and episode two of part two, Alchemy of Souls. Now it is over, it concluded it, and we know what we know now. I don't think I'll be changing anything from what I said um, in my last review. You can look it up there. Nothing changed so much. They tried to change the narrative and, you know, because I think maybe because a lot of people, a lot of people saying that it, it wasn't as wonderful as it was. They had to, I think they kind of added um, them. He still did not do anything much. It was a good story towards the end, the episode 9 and episode 10 tried to rive up people's interest and curiosity just to conclude, I'm sure just to increase the ratings of the drama, but um, not really much changed. If Naksuk, well, the, okay, the first, the, you know, the first male, uh, female lead, if she was there, it would have been better. It would have made it all, all right. I liked how, you know, despite these people in, in quotes, supposedly dying, the later on said they were alive. <laughs> um, you know, it, they tried to make it into an happy ending um, kind of drama, which I don't have any problem with. But it's just that I don't know if coming out with a part two is going to damage the narrative, is going to damage people's impression, the rating and all, or change characters and all of that. And there's no need coming out with a part two. We should just have left it in a part one and we would have been okay and satisfied with ourselves. And, you know, not have experienced this um, disappointment that I am experiencing. I don't know about you. I am experiencing a disappointment and I wouldn't want to wish it on someone else, you know. For me, the part two of Alchemy of Souls was a fail. I won't call it an I won't call it an epic fail because a lot of effort was put into it. Some of my favorite actors in it were still there, but it didn't just work for me. Um, it was a struggle to watch this last ten episodes and. It's not just fair on the effort that has been put in in part one, the first 20 episodes. So, I, you know, I'm just upset. It would have been way better if we just stuck to the first 20 episodes and, you know, had fun with it. And of course, would have just been going back to see it because it was, it's an amazing watch. But this last 10 episodes, what were they trying to achieve? What did they want to get from the audience? What story were they trying to pass across? Everything should have been done in the first 20 or even have continued without tagging it a part two with kind of like um, a story. Um, it had to be different from the first one. So what was going on? What I don't know. I don't understand. You know, the hidden card there, this master of a guy, what was his role? Yes, his role was, you know, seemed to be bringing people back for, you know, back from the dead kind of thing. He would always be saving people, healing people, saving people. But really, what was his role there as a director, as a, you know, um, um, uh, a source of um, strength or what? Or, you know, put people in the right direction. Really, the story was scattered and... I was just a desperate grasp at, you know, trying to connect the first part to the second part and which did not, you know, go right. It wasn't successful in the long run. So I'll be rating this part two of Alchemy of Souls. I'll be rating it um, a four over ten. Uh, what what I really liked were, were the effects that were used. The effects still stayed true. The effects did not, um, you know, did not um, lower in the quality. The effects continued and it was still good. The cinematography was amazing, okay? Much as I did not like the plot, the cinematography was all right. It was the input of the actors and actresses involved was okay. The Natsu character, um, she tried her best to connect 
part one to part two and you know bring this to a reasonable um um reasonable understanding and end although she wasn't successful not her fault but then again she did do well she did try the actors and actresses all put in so much work to get this done i think i would rather blame the director and the producers of this drama and also the script writers you know there's just something that was off about it and if they did not see it or did not recognize it and then too bad which brings me to the end of this drama review up there you see my korean movie review my chinese movie review my nigerian movie review and then again my movie reviews thank you so much for doing this with me bye bye thank you